right. So right here. Lay down, please. So this foot lock guys works. When I have like knee and belly, all right? And then what it should do, the knee slides fast. Okay, so right here. So so when I have this situation, what Duke can do here? Duke can, he can go like, he can hold my, my sleep to don't let me put my hand on the ground, and then he can use the leg to push me forward. Once he push me forward, he has a single leg, and then he can sweep me, all right? So in this moment, when he put the leg under my hip, is when he's going to expose Okay, the leg for me. So right here, look, I have the knee slides. So I, I don't want to pass this guy if, if he's sideways. When he's sideways, he has this shoulder on the ground. If he has the right shoulder on the ground, he has a strength on the left leg. That's why he can, he can push me forward, okay? So once I want to do the knee slides, I have to make sure the opposite shoulder is on the ground. If he has the closer shoulder on the ground, he has a strength on his leg is when I know he can use this leg to push me. If the him is like this, he don't use the leg to push, is when I have the knee slice. But as I'm trying to pass the guy, if he wants to, to, to fight back and then protect himself, he needs to be sideways, okay? So go, you start like, yeah, so look, at when, when he start using the leg behind my hip, uh, uh, below my hip right here, is when he's going to expose to me. Now he don't have nothing to push anymore. I'm going to control the opposite leg, and then I sit right here. Once I sit, we have one thing. He know he's disposing the leg for me, okay? So right here, look, he wants to grab my collar and then get close to me. Once this happens, even if I have his foot right here, grab this, I don't gonna be able to swim it, okay? Because I need to extend the upper body. So come back to this right here. The reason, guys, I, I, uh, uh, so, so this detail right here, guys, I'm gonna fix like two problems. Number one, so look, always I get here, I have to put my shoulder on the ground. Once I put the shoulder on the ground, it, it's the same thing. I have my right shoulder on the ground, I have a strength on my left leg. I'm gonna be able to bring it back to me. And the bottom shoulder, so, and right here, guys, the bottom leg, I'm going to create a wall for him. Try to come close to me. Now it's hard for him. Even if he grab my collar, I'm okay. All right. I can still go to the food line right here. So again, as I'm trying to pass the guy, Duke is going to try to defend by being sideways. Half guard, I need his back flat on the ground or away from me. If he wants to defend, he needs to face into me. Is when he suppose if I have a hand. On the call, he's, he's going to expose the neck. If I have this position, he's going to expose the neck for me. So right here, look, just switch side, please. So look at right here, okay? Working to pass the guard. He starts connecting his leg under my hip. I don't let him push nothing. So right here, guys, look. I lift, and then now, look, I trap his leg. Hand comes to his knee, and then I start bringing. Once I get here, can you guys go to this right here on this side? So look, I'm going to drive my knee to the ground and use this leg, okay, to bring. If my bed is facing up, he can come close. And another thing, keep your leg strong, please. It's hard for me to bring the leg, okay? So right here, look, keep your leg strong. I use my leg to bring. Use when I can catch his leg. So right here, look, I'm going to connect my arm and I'm going to pinch my elbow or my opponent's toes right here. Once I'm doing this, one arm, I can swim it in, or I can just grab my wrist, and then I just like, a, just like control your wrist, and then control his leg, and then you just pinch the elbow. But make sure you drop the knee, you have one shoulder on the ground, so you have the opposite leg, the strength to bring your opponent's leg to you. All right, thank you. Peace.